What's up friends? How you doing? Well, I hope. Welcome to the vlog. I'm sweating because it's hot outside. It's like super hot and I'm wearing a fancy dress because I wanted to post a picture on my Instagram. I was like, let's throw on a dress and twirl around in my backyard. So that's what I just did. I've been using that little self timer button thing. I'll show it to you. Got it off Amazon and I will link it below this is how you can take pictures of yourself it just is on bluetooth and you click this thing and kind of just hide it in your hand then these are some of the photos that i took around the yard it is hot as hades out so i'm officially sweating i low-key like was sitting on the ground and i'm pretty sure i sat in something sharp because now my legs hurt and um yeah that's it i what have i done today scoured the internet looking for vintage things because this is my filming room you guys and it's not set up properly like nothing's here and I don't know what to do about it this is my desk this is where I sit literally all the time living room is coming together quite happy with what's going on here but overall I have nothing behind me and like I actually want to film in here. I also need to get a ceiling fan cause hashtag hot. I'm committed during this quarantine to learn how to give myself a winged liner. And I figure the best way to try this is like at the end of the day, like before I take makeup off. Okay, attempt number one. I'm gonna try the IT uh, Cosmetics Superhero Liner. Now, this is not a faith-based mission. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, so, okay, the problem is that I have hooded eyes and a lot of people have hooded eyes, but mine is like pretty like heavy right here. And in a perfect world, there would be like a line, but I can't even make the line right because my eye doesn't, it's not smooth right there. And then there's another line is that how it goes? Because I know with my eyes, you have to do it with your eye open. I don't know what's happening right now. Is that even a shape? Yeah! And then, so then look, when you open it, it's like, it's all messed up. It's literally messed up already. And then a line like this that connects the other situation. This is a true disaster. Like what is even happening? Wow. And then how does this even connect? Like do I do it like this? Do I just color this entire thing in? And then Uh, feel free to grade me on our first attempt. The lighting's terrible. Let me turn you around. <laughs> you guys, what? Our first wing is a freaking disaster. It even feels crazy. Like when I blink, it feels like my eye was attacked. It feels like something happened to me. Good morning. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> my sister decided to start burping wildly as soon as I turned my camera on. Um, Carla's always on FaceTime with me, FYI. So if you're wondering why she's in the background of the vlogs, it's because we're literally talking all day long. <laughs> so the night before last, I woke up because a bright light was shining in my face. And I thought I was dreaming or hallucinating. I'm like, there's not a street light right outside my house. What is this spotlight? So then I'm like, maybe it was a helicopter and they were like looking for someone and it was like hitting the ground and bouncing. But then I was so confused because it was beaming directly into my window. So of course I told Carla the next morning, I'm like, yo, I, I, I don't know if I was dreaming or if it was like, at first I woke up and I was like, is this a UFO? I was so confused. I was like, is this an alien like staring into my bedroom? What is happening? And then I was like, no, no, it must be a helicopter or like a street light that I'm hallucinating and suddenly can't remember. So Carla, of course, said, Kelly, it's not aliens. Right, Car? What did you tell me? Oh, damn. What did I say? Uh, what did I say? I don't even remember. You know, I say so much crazy stuff. 
whatever. She told me it wasn't aliens. And I was like, okay. So last night, I wake up, beam of light blasting into my bedroom. And you know, trees block most of my room, but there's this uh, one square of the window that's open and you can't see inside from like the street, but I can see like out. And so this beam of light is happening again. And y'all, it's a legit spotlight. It's legitimately like a helicopter or like military level beam of light straight into my bedroom. And I freaked out. So I walk into the next bedroom to see if I could see, cause I could, when I looked out, it was so bright and glaring that I was like, oh my God, I can't even tell what this is. So then I walk into the next room. I got a Zoom call. All right, bye Carla, bye. <clears throat> so Carla has a Zoom call, she's leaving us. So I walk into the next room and it is the moon. Y'all, the super moon was so bright, it legitimately looked like a crazy psycho stellar flashlight beaming directly into my window, directly onto my pillows of my bedroom. Um, and, but from the other window, because of the angle I could see, it was like the actual moon. How insane is this? So I was like, technically kind of aliens. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't far off. It was something supernatural. Anyway, um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I just showered and I had an epiphany. So I was thinking in the shower. Let's be frank. I was talking to myself in the shower. And I think that I'm going to adopt the British way of saying at all, at all. I think I'm going to start doing that uh, moving forward. So it's no worries at all. I think I'm keeping it. Hi, it's me. Okay, I figured, and I'm not actually sure if anyone cares. So let's start there. But if you do, this is just a quick how I pull my hair back like I've been wearing my low ponytail so this is my hair fresh out of the shower I didn't uh do anything to it I kind of what do you call it like co-washed because I just put a little conditioner in it so this is my hair and I have been taking and I've been taking just a regular comb and making a center part and you know that's good enough that's where we're at and I've been taking and I've been taking Shea Moisture leave-in whatever coconut conditioner leave-in conditioner and making sure I coat my hair like really well with it because um it's dry out here you know what I'm saying it's a dry dry world <coughs> okay <laughs> Then I've been taking this Cantu uh, hair lotion. It's just called Daily Moisturizer. Carla recommended this to me. And I take a glob, like a lot, and put it all over my hair, including uh, the, like the roots or whatever, the inside, all the way to the end. Because I'm about to put gel on my hair and I'm trying to sort of protect it from the alcohol a little bit. So I'm doing that. Then I'm putting some oil just to seal it. This oil is just a bottle I'm using. What's inside is jojoba oil, um, vitamin E oil, and castor oil. And I use a lot. And again, I put it, especially here, because I'm putting gel on my edges, because my edges are short, because, you know, she was bald last week. <laughs> um, all the way to the ends. Then I take this brush. This is not a special brush. I don't even remember where this, um, what it's called because the name thing like literally fell off. But I got it off Amazon. I think I googled like wet brush. It works to me better on my hair type than any of those fancy expensive brushes. Those brushes, I feel like they're good for making your hair defined if your hair doesn't define pretty easily. Mine does. Like as soon as I go through this, it's going to do that like curly on the end thing um so it was cheap it works and it doesn't pull my hair out and these bristles are soft so they don't like hurt because that was why what I, I bought that like denim denim and denim brush and it literally um hurt my head like it felt like my scalp was being raked by 
like a weapon. My hair shrinks like crazy. Like this, just from making the curls define, see how short it already went? And it will literally shrink to my eyebrows in five seconds. So all this hair will be as short as my eyebrows if I just let it go. I've been using a scrunchie instead of a hair tie because when I was pulling my hair back last summer, like really slick and taut, um, that I think was another part of the problem of my hair shedding crazily. I'm just taking like the plain Eco Styler gel and I take another like globbity gloop and I shellac, 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 and then just put it pretty much down the front so that the front stays um, a little bit like smoother, I guess. And I don't really put it on the back so much because the back doesn't matter because it's all going into the scrunchie. So I'm just gonna pull this through and I'm pulling it so that when I go like this, it's smooth. So I'm like brushing it literally straight down. I go like this for a little baby hair action because y'all be pressed for baby hairs. I know, I know your life, I know your story and you're pressed. It's fine, it's fine. And then I'm gonna grab it loosely so this is the difference of what I used to do. I used to be like, take a brush and really smooth my hair down. This needs a little more gel. Like literally the lightest coating and I'm not pressing hard because I do want the texture. And with my hair, if I grab it really hard, it's gonna slick down in like a Sade way. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna go straight and I'm trying to keep the texture. And this is literally it. Grab the scrunchie, pull my hair through. Um, and then what I've been doing is literally a two strand twist. So I've been taking my hair like this and making a twist. And that's it. It's like, the easiest. This is going to be my summer go-to. And I'm not being trifling like last year and just putting gel on my hair. I'm layering le uh, levels of moisture underneath and it really has been working the last like I guess week I've been doing this. It hasn't been drying out terribly. And there we have it. Cute little pony. She's going to shrink y'all. She's going to shrink. It's okay though. It shrinks into a cute little situation. Um, I have a little bit of whiteness left from the lotion. That'll go away. And voila. That's it. Hello angels, I got dressed, um, sort of, because this is the same uh, caftan that I always wear. But I am showered, I've thrown a little makeup, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm about to film a haul. Just got a box in and I was like, we might as well. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, love you, mean it, bye.